Okay, I'm making another video because I'm going to be consistent. That's a lie. But, um, because I want to say other things and it's easier to make a video. Eventually, I'll stop, like, apologizing for everything I do, but I'm working through it. Um, but I just wanted to say because... Some people have asked me out of concern, like, why I'm getting off the antidepressant. And I can, in my mind, I can hear in their voice that they're questioning whether maybe it's a mistake if you're starting to get really sad. And and I know that they're, like, they get worried about me. And I'm sure it's scary to feel like you can't help the person. Um, but it's... It, it, it just, it's my own journey and no one can help me unless I'm ready to help myself. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm always doing what I think I need to do and I'm always trying. Um, but I just think the best thing that people can do when they're talking to someone who is struggling with depression um, is just kind of like, I don't know, it's, your tone has a lot, like, we're reading into things, because we think we're too much, and we're weak, or we're annoying, or we're whatever, and, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's different for everyone, but mine has a lot to do with my mind taking over me, and, um, and I just need some reassurance from other people that that's not the way the world is. That's not even who I am. Like, they know I'm strong and they know who they, you know, that that's what helps me. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'm like trying to talk fast because I like I'm not going to edit it and someone said that they think that the raw is better and I that's really good because I I do too and I'd rather just like screw it I'm gonna put it out there and so anyway what I was saying was that it's it's in your tone and we just sometimes need to be heard and to be reassured that it's okay and they're gonna love us no matter what and um and that helps a lot because for me my spiral will turn really bad when I think that I'm just too much for everyone in this world you know and that's in my head and I know that I know my family and my friends are there for me but it's everyday life. It's like, I'm too much for my boss or I'm too much for my teammates or my coworkers or classmates, like everyone. And when you're constantly feeling like you can't be who you are because you're too sensitive or people don't want to deal with that and, and you can't like put it out there and be yourself, then you end up like hurting more and trying to like cover it up instead of growing and learning that people will love you through it and it's okay and it's a part of life but I think that because everyone covers everything up so often we a lot of us question whether having a hard time is okay and what exactly is normal and what the spectrum is and um, yeah, I'm definitely on a severe end of the spectrum because I do have, I do struggle with depression and it is real and it's not just, oh, everyone has a hard time. Um, like if, if you knew, if you experienced depression where you had a hard time wanting to live, you would know that it's not a normal thing because <clears throat> it's really hard to live that way. Um, so that just, it doesn't make sense that that's the way humans were just, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. And anyway, I have depression. That's my main point. And then, yeah, 
I don't really know what my other points were, but I definitely am getting off the antidepressant because it wasn't helping me. I'm not against antidepressants at all. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I haven't figured it out yet, but I know that no one else is going to figure it out but me because right now it's not known. Like, there's not a cure for it. Some, you know, it's still kind of thought of that it might be something you have to live with forever. And I don't believe that. Um, but, so I'm getting off this antidepressant. I might get on another one. But I'm hoping I don't have to. And I'm hoping that maybe I'm in a different place in life. And I have the support system set up. And, like, I know more of who I am. And... I also have an amazing psychologist that I'm working with, Dr. Fox, every week for the next two years of my life. And I really believe that with his help, like professional help, where I respect everything he says, and it's just, it hits home right away. Like I feel like what he says makes sense and 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 I trust it rather than, you know, the way I felt a lot of times in counseling where I felt like I was leading the conversation and I really didn't want to go there just to talk about myself. Like I wanted solutions. I wanted I wanted someone to help me understand the world and um organize my thoughts and that's exactly what Dr. Fox does and I'm really I know that I'm so blessed right now. So despite the fact that it's been three or four days, I gotta like write this down before I forget and look in the planner, but three or four days since I've been completely off the antidepressant and I'm now like putting it together, that's why I feel like I'm gonna faint sometimes and that's why like my whole body, I just feel depleted of energy and strength and it's like this, it's serotonin, like I'm depleted. And when I, I got off the same antidepressant before, I was on two of them at the same time, and I've never just, I'm on um, Zoloft right now. I was on 100 milligrams of Zoloft, and when I got off of it before, I always, I had brain zaps. Like, it felt like my brain was zapping, like, every minute, and then it would slow down to every three minutes, and that lasted, like, two weeks, three weeks, um... I mean, and overall, like, the brain zaps might have been every hour or whatever, like, two months out, but I wasn't feeling them at first, and, but I just put it together that, like, these are the brain zaps that I'm feeling, it's, like, through my body, and then, um, but they're just not as intense as they were that other time, but they are in a different way, and, um, the negative, like, feelings that just, like, it's almost like, I used to describe it as a black spider web that was just, like, would take over me, um, but right now it feels like it just, like, it's, like, a, a big wave that's just, like, splashing into me and taking me down pretty fast, and I think that that's a lot to do with quarantine and, you know, having so much time to yourself and, which can be a good thing if, you work through things, maybe, and you figure out how to um, keep yourself healthy and stay on top of it. And that's what I'm really working on because I'm not interested in letting it take me down. And I really want to believe in myself and make my life better. So that's why I'm getting off the antidepressant. So that I can figure out something that will work. If this wasn't working, then something else. Like, I know it might seem like I'm doing worse, but I'm thankful at least that I can feel emotions again. I didn't really like how I felt for the last year. So, as painful as it can be, I do appreciate feeling again. Um, but yeah almost to 10 minutes so there's an instagram post on the platform that they say don't put this stuff on but i'm going to because i don't care anymore